Hello everyone, it's Matthew Stewart here, the CMO at Fintelix. Hey, how do you do? This is Will. I'm the Solutions Architect at Fintelix. So what we're going to discuss today is the new service Amazon has called the Amazon Fraud Detector. Wow, can you believe it? One of the pioneers in e-commerce is pushing out a cloud-native service that allows you to detect one of the biggest headaches that most of the e-commerce shops have, which is fraud detection. Very exciting. I know you're excited. I can tell from your exuberant facial expression. So what exactly is the Amazon Fraud Detector? Well, as the name suggests, it's a detector that detects fraud. Yeah. In an autonomous fashion, using machine learning and a lot of the advanced data analytics that Amazon offers. It's fully cloud native. You don't have to host your own data, data application in your own data center. You can't deploy everything as long as you have the data set on cloud with, with just a few clicks. And it allows you to uh, kind of have visibility and insights on the user that's actually using your application, the transaction that happens on your application, and also uh, the user behavior that's outside of their, just their account information. Like for instance, user click between different pages or uh, which IP address or email address is coming from. Now that we know what it is, who exactly should use it? Like I said, a lot of the you know, companies that offer payment services, that, you know, that out, uh, the application that actually involves online transaction, the, the, the money flowing from one place to the other through their platform, uh, should, should all consider using this service. Uh, maybe they're, they, they really pose some like benefits to a business. Long story short, it's the people who actually have payment service in some kind of form uh, while they're providing services to their users. What are some of the specific use cases that come into play with this? Well, I mean, out there online, it listed four of them, but specifically they are new account, guest checkout, try before you buy, and also online payment. Uh, I'll go into one, one, every one of those in a bit more detail. So new account is more for people who are coming onto your website. Usually the fraudster, when they come into their, your uh, website, they tend to create a new account. A lot of them are uh, fake accounts that are being used for malicious intent to either tamper with your site's functionality or when they check on make payments, they tend to do something malicious. Uh, or try to do some injection uh, to your uh, actual backend system. Amazon offers this service that allows you to kind of tell whether or not there's a likelihood that this is actually a fraudster just by uh, the way they register and sign, uh, and sign up for your account. Um, you can actually you know, integrate that with your customer registration workflow and that can drastically improve your security posture and make sure that there is no, there's less chance that they that Froster can actually succeed from registering new accounts. And then there's the try before you, you buy a feature, which a lot of companies tend to offer to their users, like a free, free trial period, right? Some people actually exploit that. Like I sign up with multiple emails and, you know, I, and, and I try to like never pay for, for a service, right? 14 days period. And I just, you register a new email, right? You can see like, a, I can see will, that's going, yes. Will 1, Will 2, Will 3 at Fintalix.com, you know, <laughs> it's a never ending loop. So if you've seen somebody signing up for a lot of free trials. Yeah, under with a similar, <laughs> a similar email address. It could be me. No, it's not. I don't do that ever, ever. Um, but yeah, uh, AWS offers the service that can sort of see the kind of the email pattern and also observe um, the IP address of where the uh, communication is coming from. So, uh, so Amazon will offer like uh, Amazon fraud detect detector will also help you detect those anti behavior, anti pattern that you see. And then there's also the guest checkout, which a lot of people tend to exploit um, in the process of actually making the transaction, making the payment. And you know the the fraud detector can actually uh, operate just based on the email of the user and also the uh, IP address of the user based on those user information that they collect, you, they can actually, you know, tell you whether or not uh, predictive analytics and can actually tell you whether or not there's a good chance that uh, the user is, you know, a fraudster. Wow, that actually sounds fantastic. How do you actually use the Amazon fraud detector? How do you get started? 
Well, it's actually pretty easy to use. All you have to do is to provide a data set, select the template of how you want to train your model, and then just train the model, and then deploy that. It's easy, right? Pretty straightforward, um, as long as you have a certain level of experience with data science or uh, or if you have worked with Amazon SageMaker, their you know, fully managed machine learning uh, cloud service, uh, shouldn't be a problem. So it's easy to get started with, but how much does it cost? What's the pricing like? Well, you have to pay for three things. Uh, you have to pay for training, like you know, generate insight from your data. Uh, you have to pay for hosting, like the actually like hosting your, the data model that you trained, you, you obtained. And you actually have to pay per kind of like per query, um, like whether or not uh, the users, like what's the likelihood of the user being a froster, and and do you think that the the users are fraud based on the uh, a froster based on the previous data? Uh, you have to pay per essentially per request. So there you have it. There's a little bit about what the Amazon fraud detector is about. If you have any more questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget, don't forget to give us a like. Don't forget to follow us. And stuff. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, one lucky commenter will actually win one of our Fintelix t-shirts.